Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Chave Canal and I am a maintainer in uh, Kiali, uh, the observability tool for service meshes for Istio. Um, today in this video, I would like to introduce you a little bit what is MTLS and then I'm going to show you how to protect your communications, your workload communications within one namespace with MTLS. First of all, uh, MTLS it's like the traditional TLS connections with one server, with one client, um, authenticate one server, but also it adds the mutual here where the server also authenticates the client. This way we ensure that both client and server are trust entities to communicate between uh, both of them, right? So here what you have is Hiali the uh, topology graph of Kiali. We prepare a application, it's a demo application, really simple. But what you can see is that you have services and workloads that they are communicating between each other. They are consuming HTTP requests from workloads to services. What we wanna do is protect all these edges, all these communications, all these requests here, with MTLS. The first thing we have to do is make sure that we have the option of security um, enabled. So we will see if uh, we have MTLS communication. So far, there's no MTLS happening. All the requests are going in play. If you see, um, here is the dashboard of Kiali where you have the big picture of uh, your service mesh is that we are running uh, this application called Bookinfo in the name of space Bookinfo. Everything is green, it's healthy, we have traffic. Um, and now we want to add some uh, MTLS. What we have to do? For MTLS, uh, Istio proposes to use two different objects. One is called policy and is uh, the following one. This, uh, this one, the policy, is the one ensuring all the servers, all the workloads receiving traffic, making sure that they only accept um, requests in MTLS, right? Here, it's clear. We apply this policy to name default for booking for name space, where we have our application running and uh, we enforce a strict mode of MTLS to all the workloads. Let's apply this one and then we'll take care of the, um, of the second object. So let's apply this one. So it's a, a kubectl, kubectl apply this one. All right. So. Let's go to the graph again and see what, what happens. The first thing I can notice and Kiali is pointing at you is that you have a Istio config validation problem. You have one error, three objects applying to this name of space and there's one crucial, one critical error in your config, on your configuration. You can see that you start to have some our communications in red, meaning that the traffic is going down, you're having problems, you're receiving 500 HTTPs. So yes, it looks like uh, it's not enough with this uh, uh, policy applied, it's not enough to protect your service mesh with MTLS, right? With your um, name space with MTLS. Um, so let's see, let's see here. And the overview, it says, actually the same. Uh, you having problem is the configuration because a Kiali, what it has is the ability to analyze your Istio configs and see you what's going on. Uh, now we are taking a look at it, but before I'd like to introduce you here one, um, one, uh, one feature that it's telling you that something is not going 
well in this uh, booking for namespace because the MTLS is partially enabled for this name. Let's go and see what happened with the with the validation. As you may as you see here, you have the three objects and one it's critical. There's one error here. Let's see what happened. East uh, Kiali, sorry, it has the ability to point you the exact line of your YAML with the error with an error um yeah with an error what's an error a specific in that in that line here what it says is destination rule enable namespace wise mtls is missing so yes what i said uh, before we need two objects now there's one missing so let's see let's see what happened if we introduce the second object here Let's take it out. Let's check it out first. So destination rule. What's a destination rule? Destination rule is a rule for all the clients consuming services or workloads. And what it says is how they have to start all the communications with those workloads, with those services. And here what it says is that um, uh, all the hosts living in the booking for all the services living in Bookinfo has this traffic policy of enable Istia Mutual TLS. So let's apply this one. This means that now all the, all the workloads will uh, start communication with MTLS to other um, services. Let's reload this uh, policy and see that now the validation is gone, right? Because we have introduced this destination policy. If you go to the config, we'll see now that we have the policy and the destination rule that we just create. And now if we go to the overview, we'll see that the, this icon has changed. And now it says that MTLS is enabled and it's fully enabled. Let's go to the graph and see what has changed. So now you can see that all the edges, all the communication has this, this lock icon here. And you can see here that 100% of the traffic uses MTLS. So yes, with MTLS, you will be able to secure, for example, a namespace where you have your microservices that probably you are splitting it from a monolithic and you for example you keep your monolithic your monolithic application but you're slowly are you're splitting it out slowly and you're putting some of the new microservices in one namespace so this trick i i showed you is really well for just ensuring that all communications of the new ver ver uh, services are using MPLS. Thank you for that. That's it from me. I'll see you in the next video.